Hey fellow lab rats, this is Rebecca from the Lab Rat YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be discussing an introduction to the semi-automated microtome. All right, let's get started. So today we're going to be talking about the parts and pieces of the microtome. Um, so first we want to remove the protective cover, um, obviously, and we can't use it with the cover on. Um, and at the end of the day, after you're done using the microtome, you want to put this protective cover uh, back on it. Okay. Alrighty, so this is the HM340E microtome from the company called Apridia. Um, so this is a semi-automated microtome. So microtomes are an instrument that are used in the histology lab um, for slicing thin uniform sections from tissue samples. So this is what we call a rotary microtome, which is actually the most commonly used microtome type. Um, it's called a, a rotary microtome because the actual cutting part um, is of a rotary action. Um, so this particular microtome can actually cut tissue sections from 0.5 microns up to 100 microns in thickness. Um, so as you can see, um, this microtome is already on. However, um, the power button is here on the back, on the back side of the microtome. And this is the front side of the microtome, obviously. Um, all right, so let's talk about um, the different parts of the microtome. Um, so this section here is called the operating panel and it has a touchpad uh, keyboard for easy use so you can actually leave the operating panel on the microtome when using it or you can actually remove it if you so desire and put it off to the side all right um, so we'll talk uh, more in detail um, about this operating panel here in just a little bit i just wanted to show you the parts first and then we'll talk mainly about this here um, so Again, that's called the, the operating panel. Um, so this portion of the microtome is called uh, the specimen orientation. So this piece allows the tissue specimen to be brought to its desired position to allow it to uh, be aligned with the knife. Um, so actually, let me sit here so I can show you a little bit better angle. There we go, this is much better. Um, so again, this is the specimen orientation part of the microtome. Um, so the specimen actually goes in here, okay? So you wanna put your specimen in here, right? Um, and to orientate the specimen, um, there's a lever and then some screws here, all right? So this lever here, all right? This allows you to use the orientating screw. So there's two orientating screws here and then an orientating lever. Um, so uh, when this lever is in an upwards position, um, the any manipulation of these orientating screws won't do anything. So now when you turn this lever down, that allows you to um, have movement of this device with these orientating screws. So um, if you, you can kind of see it rocking a little bit. Let me see. It goes from side to side and up and down. It's hard to see the motion. It's very subtle, okay? And then once you have orientated your specimen properly, right, you want to lock it in place with that lever. So upwards position, these don't do anything. Downwards position, these do things. And it's hard to see. Let me actually see if I can. Yeah, you, can you see the movement there? Yeah, okay. That's a much better angle. Goes from side to side, right? So you're gonna orientate your specimen um, with a knife here. Okay, so we're gonna put that in the upwards position and that prevents any movement from these orientating screws, right? So, <clears throat> Then we have our hand wheel here, okay? And this actually moves the specimen forward towards that blade, all right? Um, there is a hand wheel break on this side, so you can see how it can move here. One rotation, rotary, right? This locks it, so that prevents you from making any motion with this uh, rotary wheel. 
Now let's talk about the knife or the blade carrier. So if you notice here, there is a warning. It looks like um, a hand here within this triangle shape. Um, so the blades that we use in this microtome are extremely sharp and there are a lot of moving parts that are involved here. So this is a danger area. So don't be a dummy and put your fingers in here or mess around here too much. Um, and always make sure um, when you're not using the microtome, um, if you see this gold piece here, this is called a knife guard. Um, and this protects your fingers from that knife, all right? So always make sure that this is up in place, all right? Um, so it does have a place for your fingers, which are right here. So you never want to move it from the top or from this side. You want to move it from this, this, uh, with this finger area here. Um, that's how you move it up and down. Okay. So when it's up, your fingers are going to be protected from that knife. Um, and when it's down, it's going to reveal the blade. Um, so I do not have a blade in here for the purpose of this video. Um, but I'm still not going to touch that area because there are still some kind of sharp edges there. Um, there's no knife, but it's still kind of sharp. So if it's up, your finger is going to be protected from that. All right. So what you want to do to insert a blade. So blades go in here. You want to turn this down. And if you notice on the side of this um, this area, right? So this is called a clamping plate, okay? And this is a clamping lever, right? So when, oops, so when it's upwards here, it's locked into place, right? When it's downwards, right, that allows you to have some movement uh, within that clamping plate to slide the blade in. So if you notice, there's like a little spot in there you want to put the blade in there, all right? And then, of course, turn the clamping lever back up um, to lock it in place. Now, if you want to move the clamping plate from side to side, this clamping lever is, when it's upwards, it's locked, okay? When it's downwards, you can actually move the clamping plate. And then whenever it is in the spot that you want, of course, you want to move that lever back up to prevent it from moving, so locking it in place. You can also change the clearance angle of the blade uh, by using this uh, lever. So when you push it down, this allows the movement of the blade this way, okay? So you adjust it how you want, okay, to whatever clearance angle you would like. And then, of course, you move this lever back up, and then that prevents it from rocking there, right? So that is where your cutting is going to be taking place on that microtome. So now that we've talked about the different parts of the microtome, remember at the beginning of this, I was talking about this operating panel and how we're going to discuss it more. So let's do that. Now, um, we can you can either leave this operating panel in the microtome when you're using it, or if you so desire, you can remove it. So I'm going to remove it just so we can see it better. You know there's a wire that goes in the back of the microtome. When you're putting it back, make sure it doesn't get scrunched up. Make sure it goes in that hole appropriately. All right, so here we go. Okay, so there are two black buttons on the side of the operating panel, a screen and some keypad buttons here, all right? So the first line uh, that we're going to be looking at, um, the top line of the screen shows feed and trim. Feed denotes the selected section thickness, whereas trim denotes the selected trimming thickness. And you can select between either feed or trim um, by pressing in the top button. So if you notice, the black highlight goes from feed to trim with me pressing that button, okay? Um, and you can scroll this top black button and that allows you to set the thickness. So we're on feed because it's highlighted on feed. We can scroll and change the thickness. Let's change the trim. We're gonna press it in, change the trim. And of course, this is in microns, okay? So that's that top line. There's a glare here. Let me try to move it this way. That'll work a little bit better. All right, so the second line shows a couple of different things. So here is the date, okay? Um, so you um, want to press to, to switch between the second line here. You want to press this button here. So that's the date, okay? 
So you'll see a counter. So this shows the number of sections that were produced and you can actually reset the counter by pressing this button here, okay? It's zero, so we really, we don't reset it to anything. And we press this button again and it changes to uh, something called step sum, all right? And this shows the sum of the sections that are already cut in microns and that includes the feed and the trim, okay? So you notice it has 18, okay? So that would be um, 18 total microns were cut uh, within this, this sample that we're doing. And again, this is the reset button. So you're gonna see 18 go to zero. There we go, excellent, all right? Now let's press this button again, all right? Now you see REM Trav, okay? And that is the remaining travel to the front end position. So that's how many microns are left um, to be able to section before this hits this knife, okay? You don't wanna have this device hit here. Oops, all right? Okay, and of course, and then there is the time as well. Okay, alrighty. Now you'll also see this retraction button, okay? So the cutting movements of the microtome are of course generated by turning that hand wheel, okay? So this hand wheel, all right? And um, the hand wheel is moved of course clockwise and the specimen moves down um, and is uh, of course moved back up when the hand wheel is continued to turn. So let's just do it. Oh, you know what? I have the lock on. Okay. You see how it's moving down and then it's moving back up. Okay. All right. So to protect the knife. Okay. And um, the, uh, so to protect the knife, um, the specimen um, on the return travel, um, the specimen is retracted. Okay. So the yellow light turns on. Uh, when that function is active. So you can, re uh, you can turn off that retraction um, feature by pressing the menu here, okay? Um, we also have a rock button. Um, so when pressing this, it allows the rock function um, and this allows the user to uh, manually section if they so desire. So the menu looks like this, okay? And you can scroll through it using this here, okay? language, time of date, factory defaults, those types of things to get back out, you want to press menu again, okay? Now this right button here, I'm going to press it in. It's actually going to retract. It moves, see how I'm moving it here? It's going to move it out, see? Okay. Or move it back in. So that's what that bottom looks like. Okay, that bottom button does. Alrighty, so that is the microtome. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below in the comments. Uh, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, go ahead and give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more uh, educational laboratory content. Until next time.